Is he gonna keep doing this? So my four-year-old is telling me she is tired of her foster mother and everybody else. So the foster mother decided that I couldn't talk to my child or my children yesterday because she's fucking mad because my daughter it has the right to express herself. She does anybody and everybody does. Freedom is speech. This is a four-year-old. My twins miss me. My other kids miss me, and it hurts to feel and to know and to you know hear my kids. Like I swear, I know I heard myself call my name a couple of weeks ago. Excuse me. So for you motherfuckers that took my green crate flight boss and I, I sent it to flight boss I sent it to foster eBay and one other person I'm not going to say which is the first person that sent it to but this is the fucking point in case that creator circle manipulated the fuck out of me and God you know I guess it was want me to be this person to do the walk to give people opportunity to actually do the right thing. Instead of people doing the right thing, they went the fucking selfish way. So needless to say, that's not what my design was based off of. It was not based off of selfishness. It was actually based off of um, uplifting what's supposed to be the poverty, the impoverished community to be able to have the opportunity to whether they be homeless, single mothers, fathers, or families that were willing to heal themselves through what plants, vegetables, herbs, whatnot, naturally heal, and you know, become, and then give, that will give them the opportunity to invest in themselves uh, spiritually, physically, emotionally, and give them the straight up opportunity that will be learning yourself which is the ultimate goal because they don't want you to do that. So, from you motherfuckers stealing my shit, Danielle, or from creator circle, you should delete your ass off my fucking Facebook because I see you still on there. Only because I have access to one of my Facebooks that I can still see how your ass is on there. All of the people from Creative Circles, you can bleach your ass off my shit. And matter of fact, flight boss, you can fucking too. Delete your ass off my Facebook. All of you thieving, robbing, stealing, gangs talking ass motherfuckers. And I'm sorry if you're a part of that association and you have nothing to do with that. It's a horrible fucking experience. And they torture kids, children to say the least and my kids and you know for them to act like they had all these fucking resources and they were you know about uplifting each other or whatnot and you know something like I said but act like y'all got resources and y'all supposed to be uplifting each other and you know because we have this old community and traveling across the world and doing these meditations and stuff, stuff, stuff. I had the money but like I said I only had it like when I would have it so when I said yes I wanted to be a um what like a um uh, an inspirational speaker of you know an influencer I wanted to travel with them they said, when can you have the money? I said, okay, I won't have the money until this. It'll be months. But, you know, hey, I, that's when I can do it since you're not worried. You're well, willing to work with me. Like you say, you work with this guy. You know, he gets so many sales and he gets the, he can pay himself off that way and still be able to travel. I wouldn't give him that option. And then not only that, they still try to charge my damn card. I don't know how many times I was sitting there in the meeting. And this was insane. San, San Diego? San Diego? Somewhere by LA, past fucking, um, I know way past Compton. But, um, 
that was that was that. Yeah, y'all can delete your asses off my Facebook. I sent it to Foster eBay with a uh, flight boss and the other person I'm not even gonna mention their name right now because I understand that situation. And got some healing to do and whatnot. But um and I'm not going nowhere, so but uh but the people you were around, I made choking holes on everything I love, but if God didn't tell me and I if I didn't know, God would be taking care of me like he's still taking care of me right now and I don't have to sell my soul to do it. So happy, I'm so glad. So the thing is the way y'all, you know, stole my green print, God is gonna make it to where um, you're gonna have to do fucking work. It don't matter how many motherfuckers you get together. Unless you come in love, peace, and harmony, and, and no chicken grease and gravesy grease around this piece. It's how you're gonna have to do it. You're gonna have to do the healing, the work, and all of that. Ain't no silver spoon fed. You're gonna have to heal with that silver spoon. You have to heal with that silver spoon. You feel me? Straight up, like I'm just like I'm. I'm sick and I'm freaking disgusted because now when I have to not retaliate, but when I have to be responsible as a mother, as a queen, as a a healer, a real healer, not a fake one. And they'll, they yo, you know what I'm talking about. When you were scrying for me and your shit broke, your pendulum broke, you already know. I'm divinely guided to protect you. Shouldn't never fuck with nobody like that though. Ever. Who are you? Look in the mirror. Love your perfect imperfection, because I love mine. Who are you? Y'all, y'all went after children, y'all went after families, they know telling how many more y'all did. So, it's gonna have, you're going to have to do the work. You're going to have to do healing. And just like I did, and I went through all of this, y'all going to, what y'all had obtained, y'all going to have to, y'all going to lose it. Period. Tenfold, karma comes back for y'all. Y'all ain't reached out to, I ain't trying to help me, I ain't trying to help my children, nothing. Y'all had so called resources to but babysitters, web, people that can build websites, which I had the money for, uh, which I try to charge like stupid, ridiculous amounts. And then with no payment plan, are you fucking crazy? And that was another thing. Like y'all took my green print and y'all made a disaster out of that shit. Y'all mocked God at that Cause that's where it came from. It came from God. It came from my ancestors. That's who y'all mocked. Now had I went dark and, and went and got pissed off and you know went left instead of right, I'd be just like y'all. Yeah, I'm so sorry for anybody that has got caught up in this fucking bullshit. Any spells that they've done on money, they've done on um, doing illusions on you to where you can't see what they're doing. Uh, love spells. I don't know, because then people get weird. Like, they have some kind of weird session. Damn, she's still not dead. She's still not hiring hitmen. Like, this is crazy. This is ridiculous. This, like, this is some shit that I would have never, ever thought. I And I used to say, too, I said, I used to think I was on a fucking movie ever since I was little. I used to say that all the time. I used to pray to God. I used to say, I used to hold my baby picture and I'd be like, please take me back to where I don't remember. I used to say that. And I was little when I was little. I 
had to be like three or four. I swear, I'm probably three, maybe two, because I started talking at a very young age. So, anyways, needless to say, I freaking, I just got done crying because I was like, how can people do this? Like, I'm thinking about how I have to be responsible and mother queen and an authority figure in my life as well as my kids life and other people you know i'm trying to be i am an inspiration to to help them stand up for themselves i gotta put people in prison and i'm like then that means they're going to be motherless fatherless and may no telling what else in this Because there's a cause and effect. Your cause and effect cause the effects that I'm in right now. So greatly, quite frankly, with my family too, stealing and hiding shit from me, uh, trying to kill me because they know my ex-husband and baby daddies and whatnot, fucking kids' fathers don't want to pay child support, so they try to kill me. Like, all these people, y'all is the world is a ghetto. Uh, words of Lulu, I love. And then there was people. I was like, hey, you know, go, go get, you know, go get you some, some land, and you know, what I'm saying, build me a garden, shit, so I can come visit. Fuck, I'm vegan, shit. We can chill. That. Daniel, I sent you an email, I mean, an email, I sent you a Facebook message, I, I sent Lulu an email, I sent Star, Water Star Vibes email, I even, even though I was mad at uh, Pretty Boss, because I didn't know who was doing all this bullshit, and I thought it was her, I even sent it to her. And I, I was saying, like, I've been saying, like, on my Facebook, for people who have access, like, put my real shit out there. Share my real shit. And keep it real. I, I, I love you even though you fucking hate me. I do. 